Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Agricultural Engineering. In the series of Engineering Properties of Biological Material, today we are going to discuss about some sparsity, which is a very important topic from exam point of view. So without wasting so much time, let's go for it. So what is meant by sparsity? Sparsity is nothing but the object resembles a spare, means whether this object is looking similar to that spare that we have to find in the case of sparsity. So the formula for sparsity is di by dc where di is diameter of largest inscribed circle. Now see if you have taken potato then you have to take graph paper on that you have to trace outer layer outer boundary of that potato and you have to draw one inscribed circle and one circumscribed circle so in that case di is diameter of largest inscribed circle and dc is diameter of smallest circumscribed circle so uh, it's easy for those fruits and vegetables we can draw easily but what in case we have pulses or black paper then how we can find sparsity so for that purpose we are using overhead projector so in the upcoming lecture we will discuss discuss in details about that overhead projector it's working and uh, live video of how it's working in upcoming lectures one more formula is there de by dc where diameter of sphere of the same volume of the object de is diameter of sphere of the same volume of the object so you some you have to find volume of particular uh, grain or particular material you have given after that you have to equate that volume equal to volume of sphere then you will get diameter of sphere that is de and dc is diameter of the smallest circumscribing circle usually the largest diameter of the object so one more formula is there sparsity is equal to cube root of l b t divided by l where which is equal to geometric mean diameter divided by major intercept where L is larger intercept, B is largest intercept perpendicular to L and T is largest intercept perpendicular to L and B. So you will think what is L, B and T. If in case of uh, rice we are finding its L, B, T, L is highest uh, value or highest measurement. After that B will be the width and T will be the thickness. So with the help of vernier caliper we can measure L, B, T. After finding LBT, LBT in raised to 1 by 3 divided by L, we will get sparsity of that particular rice grain. So one more formula is there, surface area of the equivalent sphere and AP is equal to surface area of the particle. Means, if we have given any particle, then you have to find its surface area. We have to equate that surface area with surface area of sphere or you have to find the volume of that particular particle then you will get diameter of that uh, sphere and after finding value of diameter you have to put it in value of surface area of sphere then you will get AS so see from exam point of view this is important question calculate sparsity of a cylindrical object having a length equal to diameter here they have given we have to find the sparsity of cylindrical object which is having length equal to diameter so see what is volume of cylinder pi r square h here in this case h is l and r square is replaced by d square by 4 but in this case length is equal to diameter therefore d is equal to l so we will get pi d cube by 4 now what is volume of square 4 by 3 pi r cube so r cube is replaced by d s cube by 8 so we have to equate that volume of cylinder is equal to volume of sphere then we will get the value of diameter of sphere equivalent diameter so 1.5 d cube is equal to ds cube then we will get 1.14 d is equal to ds now we know that sparsity is equal to surface area of equivalent sphere and surface area of particle so surface area of equivalent sphere is given by 4 pi r square in this case r is ds by 2 and for the particle is particle is cylindrical in shape so 
the surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r l plus 2 pi r square so we will get the value of 0 0.874 please please don't miss this question definitely they will ask this question calculate sphericity of cylindrical object having a length equal to the diameter so you have to do solve this problem in similar way and you will get the answer sphericity of cylindrical object is 0 0.874 so here see another example here they have given length bread thickness of rice kernel is 7 mm 7 mm 3 mm and 2 mm respectively find the sphericity so other formula is this sphericity is equal to cube root of lbt divided by l so you, you will get 7 into 3 into 2 raised to 1 by 3 divided by 7 you will get the answer 0 0.496 whenever they are providing you lbt then you have to use this formula now here find the sphericity of cube shaped sugar crystal so in this case they didn't mention any diameter or a dimension so you have to assume cube cube having all sides equal so volume of square volume of cube is equal to volume of square we have to equate that and we have to find the diameter of square so see volume of cube is l cube is equal to volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube so we will get ds is equal to 1.240 l so now sphericity formula as divided by ap so in this case as as a surface area of cube is surface area of cube is l square then as by ap is equal to pi by 6 ds square by l square then you will get 0 0.8059 the sphericity of cube shaped sugar crystal is 0 0.8059 so see uh, there is one more formula i forgot to mention that formula see if if an object has the volume of v diameter d and surface area s yes, then the sphericity of that object can be given as sphericity is equal to 6 into volume divided by diameter into surface area you will get sphericity remember sphericity is equal to 6 into volume divided by diameter into surface area so last 5 days are there for registering this for this mock test last date of registration is 25th april 2022 so without if you have prepared study then it should be better to know what are your strong point and what are weak point for that purpose this mock test series is necessary so here we are going to cover three three examinations mcar pg ct icr pg and tamil nadu assistant engineer examination so please do registration and be the part of this team agree edu a perfection a perception for better tomorrow thank you for watching our video for more such videos don't forget to subscribe our channel